We wrap it up at Char 10 on Sunday. This way, race number 10, it's over the 1400 and it is a class two. Silver Express is on the class drop. He raced in the Panasonic Cup last time, as did Winning Method. Buddies is a four-time course and distance winner. Beauty Live resumes, he's had the two trials. Find My Love has his first start in Hong Kong for Manfred Mann. He's had a couple of trial appearances. Jumbo Fortune blinkers for the first time. Kingland has struggled when he's been up in grade. Sight Spirits on a seven-day backup and Zarsum Tom. Best form's been the all-weather, but he did place on the turf in his last start. He was good last time, uh, was uh, Zarsum. Uh, this race here, uh, well, Buddies, uh, he peaked on a, a rating of for what was 112, he's got himself down to 85 now. Of course, Celebration Cup winner uh, going back a couple of seasons ago. Now, packing treadmill should be able to get across from 12. Silver Express, uh, he can go forward, but barrier 14 is his lot this time round. And then Kingland, the last start uh, winner there. Uh, Kingland shouldn't be far away with Beauty Live on the fence. Paul, first up. Yeah, I think Buddy's can, he's got the pace to lead if he wants to here. Uh, packing treadmill, how unlucky has he been with barrier draws? I don't think he's drawn uh, inside. Once he's 9, 11, 10, 11, 11 in his, last, in his last few starts, but he still wins. He does indeed. He's a nice horse backing treadmill, as is race rival Beauty Live, who's a four time winner course and distance, and he's to be ridden by Matthew Poon. Matthew Beauty Live is your ride in the final race on Sunday afternoon. He's, uh, he's a nice horse doing a good job, isn't he? Yes. Uh, I think I like him last, uh, two, two, two times, and both he, he went really well. And, and yeah, pretty happy I can like him again. And uh, I think I did two trial uh, on him. And first trial, j just OK. Uh, second trial, a little bit better. But yeah, just see how, looking forward to how he won. Do you think he's improved in the off season and, and with those trials? Does he give you a good feel? Uh, you mean that the recently trial? Yeah, yeah, and, and sort of, and Joe sort of has he's progressed. I feel like he more or less. Uh, I first start fourteen hundred. I think it is is suit for him, and I I do believe maybe he he can uh, later maybe can can handle further. But now we just focus on this this time. So yeah, I think first start fourteen hundred. Uh, he is he should be one well. Yeah. He's a horse, Matthew, who's, who's raced on the pace. He's, he's drawn gate number three, so I guess that's certainly a positive. Yes, that's, I think this is a perfect draw for him. He can, he can decide to sit like first, half, uh, first four. So depend on the, the, the tempo, the, the, yeah, how many fast horses. So I, I, I can have choice. Yeah. And I mean, this race was he ran in a class two when we, we last saw him behind the Golden Zero. This is a, a slightly lesser rated class two. I guess on form, he, he has to come under serious consideration given given that form of his last race. Well, first up, we level low, but yeah. yeah, but now we can see he have a, a two trial and good draw. Just uh, hope uh, he can perform well. Yeah. Um, just away from him, um, for you personally, I don't think we've spoken to you since, but just recently obviously you got to 200 winners uh, here in Hong Kong. That was a nice little achievement to get to. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, of course, uh, uh, 200 winner is, um, is my first target. Hopefully later can get to 250, 300. So yeah, pretty happy. Yeah. There he is, the Poon Train, and his thoughts on Beauty Live. Kingland, Paul, now he was a winner last start. This is on the 23rd of October. As mentioned earlier, he does struggle when he comes up in this grade, though. Yeah, that's that's the key. Look, he's, he's been racing quite well. I mean, he did win at a massive price, too. Um, uh, 75 to 1 he was when he won this race. It was a bit of a bunch field for him. Uh, prior to this, he did run third in Class 3 uh, at his second start, and he was over 100 to 1 that day as well. But... Um, Look, I haven't included him in this. Form out of the race has been OK. Victor, the winner there on the fence. Uh, Beauty Tycoon, Happy Shearing hasn't been racing badly. Be, uh, Midori Beauty might be able to uh, do something uh, in one of the earlier races. I haven't got him in, though. Happy just to watch him again. This horse, I'm sure you've got in. Tom Packing Treadmill. Yep, on top here, Mark. Uh, but another horror draw for him. But uh, one easily last time out. Trial has looked good to leading into with this. Uh, also, uh, Zach Purton, Francis, uh, Louis. Uh, still got rating points in hand. I think this horse, Paul. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's drawn two at his debut run. And then ever, ever since then, he's drawn those wide ones, as I mentioned earlier. Look, he's, uh, he's a four-time winner, this horse, from limited starts. 
I think he can win again. Again, the form's worked out out of this race. Science patch, uh, good buddy down the outside. It yeah. was indeed, and he's jogged it there at the end. Has packing treadmill. Finally, Paul, Zarsan, good on the turf last time. Snaffles needs to improve. Yep, Snaffles definitely needs to improve there. He doesn't go in for me. Uh, Zarsan, look, he's only a one-time winner, Zarsan, but he, look, it wasn't a bad run from him here. And uh, he, he, it's drawn a little bit wide, and that's why I didn't include him. He's going to win a race on the turf at some point, this horse. Jai McNeil rides, and uh, he was well at the back in this run, but uh, look at him charge home late in the piece. He's done this on the turf before. They're all chasing uh, APAL here, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give him another chance again. Uh, Zarsan, just like the way he's uh, finishing there at the end. Found the line strongly on the outside, dear Zarsan, but it is uh, the 10 horses, the favourite here. Paul, this is one treadmill you don't mind getting behind. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's not many. Uh, I'm gonna go, yeah, I've got him on top there, uh, packing treadmill, so he's, he's well on top. Uh, allergic to those treadmills. Um, Beauty Live, I think he's going to get a good run from Barry number three. Sight Spirit, a bit unlucky at his last start. I'm going to put Buddies in because he's so well rated, and if he does get to the front and leave him alone, I think uh, he can be there for a long period of the race. 10, 5, 11, and 3. Paul's like Captain Wynn when he draws the rail. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I'm with uh, number uh, 10 here, uh, Packing Treadmill. He's the one uh, to beat uh, over 11, uh, Sight Spirit, who was desperately unlucky last uh, time out, uh, held up badly in the, the straight uh, two from two course and distance, Zarsun and uh, Beauty Live. So 10, 11, 12 and 5. And there it is, the preview for race number 10, the last of 10 on Chevalier Cup Day. A reminder, earlier start time for the first. We'll see you for the opener at 12.45.